those of you who've taken the online course uh, or the classroom-based course, this will look familiar to you. Do fish know that water exists? Uh, so, you know, I've asked this question quite a few times, and uh, there's usually yes, no, yes, no, some difference. But as as people start to talk about it, they realize probably fish that have never left the water don't know that water exists. Some fish can jump out of the water, and certainly fish that get pulled out by the fishing rod, then they know that water exists. But as long as they are swimming around in it, they probably are unaware. Uh, which is what a Manitoba expert said, Marshall McLuhan said, fish did not discover water. In fact, because they are completely immersed in it, they live unaware of its existence. And similarly, when a conduct is normalized by a dominant cultural environment, it becomes invisible. I don't know if you have, uh, yeah, it's their norm. I don't know if, if um, you've ever heard anybody say, in Canada, we don't really have a culture. Um, we were more multicultural. Uh, but if you ask people who are new to Canada, when I ask when I have people in the room that are new to Canada and I ask them, does Canada have a, a culture? They always say, oh, yes. But because we are the fish swimming around in the water, we are unaware of it. And so it's invisible to us. So then we get into these situations that are uh, diversity, challenged by diversity. We don't understand the other person, but we don't also understand us. And so there's a lot of potential for our